be doing an introduction to prehistoric mammoth. I will be using these figures uh, a lot often because it's pretty easy to use them and I have them on my hand. And first, I will just be like taking a figure and saying something about them. And first, let's say Mega Rhinoceros is this is this is a mega rhinoceros it it has um, two horns it was very big and um, it was a herbivore obviously and and there's something i should have said before but the scale here is wrong so it's not like this little armadillo which is scientifically called I probably don't pronounce it good but Dodo sees something like that but I don't know how to pronounce it and it's not as big as this but it was a pretty big and it had a club tail it used to defend itself mm. here is a ancient hyena they were a lot bigger and mm, they would probably hunt and uh, they would be sort of be like modern day lions in the size comparison they would be modern day lions but of course not in the behavior mm, here is a saber tooth tiger mm, it is one of the most popular prehistoric mammals and um, as you can see, the, that's why it's called saber tooth because it has two teeth that look like sabers, and it could even hunt in packs woolly mam woolly mammoths. Um, okay, here is this was supposed to represent birds because I didn't have an ancient bird figure. It's normally a bird raptor, but it was supposed to represent birds here. Mm, and that birds nested on volcanoes before often because most of the cliffs were volcanoes. These are woolly mammoths. They use, they are close relatives to modern day elephants. They use their tusks to dig and defend themselves. And um, people hunted them for their meat and tusks. This is a megatherium, a giant sloth that was that it would could eat uh, like a couple trees a day, not like the whole trees with the wood, but the the whole vegetation from trees, and it has per, and it had pretty big. Cloth. This is a close relative to the horse and elephant. It sort of looks like a giraffe, but it's actually not related to them. He so um, I don't know its name, but I know it's a close relative to horses, even though it looks more as a giraffe and elephant. It was most re related to horses. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.